we're just going to do this practice, settling, grounding, with the, resting with the support of the body. So maybe just connecting with the breath and the body. Just allowing yourself to come to the present. Noticing the body on the chair, the feet on the floor, being aware of the breath. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just being here for this practice, not needing anything. Gravity to support us, the air around. This moment in time, we have all that we need. And then just bring your awareness to the breath. And if it's okay for you, just lengthening the in and the out breaths about the same as each other. And maybe counting to three or four on the in breath, three or four on the out breath. Or saying breathing in, breathing out. That doesn't work for you. Just bring your attention to the breath. If the mind starts wandering, just coming back to the breath. So just giving the mind something to focus on. Regulation of the breath, the counting all the words. And doing that, maybe it just creates some space. Space to allow the thoughts, maybe to slow a little bit. Maybe get gaps between the thoughts. It's just allowing whatever's there. This thought seem to speed up, that's okay. Just being with it. That's how it is at this moment in time. We're just lengthening the in and the out breath slightly. They're about the same as each other. Possibly counting to three or four in breath, three or four in the out breath. Or saying words such as like breathing in, breathing out. If that doesn't work for you, just being with your breath. Maybe noticing the space between the in-breath and the out-breath, the out-breath and the in-breath. That place of quietness between the breaths. And then maybe just bring your awareness, particularly to the out-breath. Just noticing what happens in the body as you breathe out. Maybe this is just a sense of relaxation in the body with each out-breath. Maybe there's a sense of the awareness almost dropping into the body. Once the body relaxes and lets go into the ground, maybe the mind can learn from this and relax and let, let itself into the body.
And then just letting go, the regulation of the breath, the counting of the words, allow the breath just to return to its natural rhythm. And then just bring your attention to the body. Maybe holding the whole body in awareness. Be aware of the sensations as they come and go. Just being curious, as if it was the first time you were sensing the body. And then just gently guiding your attention down to your toes. And slowly to the sole of the foot and the top of the foot and the ankles. Maybe noticing temperature and weight, the numbness tingling. The lower legs, the knees, the knees are bent. What did it feel like when the joints are bent? The thighs against the chair. The hips and pelvis, the lower back, middle back and upper back, the belly and the chest. And be aware of the movement of the upper body with the breath. Fingertips and fingers, arms of the hands and back of the hands, the wrists and lower arms elbows and upper arms and shoulders. It's a tension in the shoulders, just being curious, not wanting it to change it. Just allowing it to be, but maybe just softening with the breath. The neck, the face, inside the mouth, the nose, the eyes and ears and skull. You can be aware of the whole body again. And we're just sensing into the whole body, maybe particularly the lower parts of the body. And this is somewhere within the body that makes you feel really safe and grounded and secure. Maybe the feet on the floor. Maybe the seat on, on the chair. Maybe it's the hands and the contact of the hands together, or the hands on the lap. Maybe it's the belly or the chest. Just noticing somewhere that just makes you feel secure and grounded, a safe place within the body. And then just letting go, particularly attention on the body. And we're just going to rest the mind. So resting the mind in the present, just allowing thoughts to come and go, sensations and emotions, not getting caught up in thinking. When the mind starts wandering, as our minds tend to do, just congratulate yourself and noticing that your mind's wandered, you've been caught up in thinking. And then just using that safe place in your body, just to anchor you into the present. So just bring your attention to that part of the body, that sense of being grounded and safe. And just resting the mind. So it's just a light touch on the body. It's not the whole focus, just a gentle attention, like a touch of a feather into that sense of the body in the present. And if that doesn't work for you, you can use, your, use the breath as well. We're just resting the mind in the present, using that safe and grounded place in the body, just to anchor us to the present. It's this gentle touch. We can still allow thoughts to come and go. We're not blocking them out. 
with that contact with a safe place, just allowing us to stay present. Every time the mind wanders or we get caught up in thinking, is recognizing that being mindful in seeing this event and coming back to the present. It's resting the mind. The mind wanders, just using the body, the safe place within the body to come back to the present. And the minds often wander again and again, but just gently keep coming back to the present when you recognize it. So you start strengthening the mindful muscle. Coming aware sooner and sooner that our minds have wandered. And then just sensing into that place within the body. How does it feel this moment in time? Having that real connection with that place within the body that feels really grounded, safe. How does it make the rest of the body feel? And knowing this is always part of the body we can come back to. 